Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to every Cold War Zombies Easter egg with the Halloween LTM mode. We're kicking it off here with D Machina to start us off. And I am going to try my best to get this Easter egg done as quickly as possible. But also, I'm going to try and get the Wonder Weapons from the zombie. Because for this game mode, we get jack-o'-lanterns that drop. And these have some incredible stuff in it. Like, we just got our gun to tier 5 rarity. Bear in mind, we got tier 4 from doing the super easter egg. So I've got a fully maxed out gallo on round 2. What? And a death machine. This is why this mode is so good. If you weren't aware, this mode is a thing. I made a video on it and I asked if you guys would like to see every Cold War Zombies easter egg in one video in this mode. You guys were very much wanting to see it. So if you do go and to enjoy this video, let me know. Drop a comment down below. Give the video a thumbs up and just sit back and relax because we're going to dive through all of the Cold War maps. What you might consider to be like nostalgic now, which is crazy. This game came out almost two years ago. We'll say it well over a year ago now since this whole thing ended and Vanguard Zombies began. I'm sure we just like to forget that happened, but also look at how good Zombies really was in Cold War and enjoy it whilst we wait for Treyarch to come back in 2024. Speed things up a bit. I'm going to put on the Rampage Inducer whilst we stay in spawn. Let's see if we can get another pump to drop. If you don't know how this mode works, then not only do we get the pumpkins that will drop from zombies' heads, but we also get these scare packages, which are care packages that come in every five rounds. So we should have one somewhere on the map for us already. There we go. We got one right here, and this should give us something really, really darn good. So we've got a level one armor, a bronze chalice. So we've got our gun upgraded already, which is amazing. And again, we're only on round six. So this is so OP. I've had to spend like nothing. Here we go. Another jack o' lantern. What are we getting? Oh, level two armor and an ether tool. That upgrades the rarity of a weapon. We've already got it at tier five, so we can't use that, unfortunately. But we should have absolutely zero problems now. The fact that we have a pack-a-punched gun already. This mode just makes zombies super easy, but also really, really fun. All right, well, there we go. Let's turn on the power. Bring that light back. My God, man, doesn't this give you just a little bit of nostalgia just seeing the dark ether? And like, man, it just looks so dang good. I actually can't wait till we get more Triarch zombies. I want to see more dark ether areas like this. Oh, here's our first Megaton, baby. In the meantime, let's get this key card. Let's work on getting ourselves the die shockwave. There we go. Put the key card in. Let's just start hoarding up some zombies so that we can uh, get this thing open. All right, here we go. Turn it on. All right, more sucky sucky. And boom. There we go. So the first step to the Easter egg is that we've got to now go through this dark ether portal, which I've never had spawn here before. So I was a little confused at first because we need to get the ether scope parts. And if it spawns there, then it means our first part is going to be around here. Am I right? Yeah. I normally don't get it in this order. So this is a little confusing to me. But bring it on. All right. Our second one is here in the spawn, which is going to spawn even more dogs. That is our last part. And now that we have all those parts, we can build it and we can begin. There's got to be some pumpkins to open from all of these dogs. Surely. That's it. I'm whipping out the war machine. I don't even care. All right. Let's create the ether scope. Let's not die in the process. All right. Let's go ahead and grab some speed cola because I know I'm going to need that. And right, let's begin the first step now with that ether scope where we've got to go back in time. Got to grab Dr. Vogel's diary and then we've got to give it to him. So here we go. We got an anomaly. Let's reveal it. Give him the diary. And let's run over to another spot. This Easter egg is so simple once you remember like all the spots and spawns and stuff. Whilst I'm here, I picked up the canister for the dog so we'll grab that last but not least this final final one and once he's done his talking there we should be all good to go on oh, the jellyfish just so beautiful just everything about the dark ether man i miss this so much okay well now we've done that we can go and enter the password which is uh valentina's initials now it asks us to charge the capacitors well our first of four upgrades for the die shockwave begin with this one, which is so dang easy. This is for the dye thermoplastic. It involves us using the little thing we picked up right at the beginning of the video, the fuse. And it's just going to go and cut the fuse there. And now that we're back, we simply just go up to this. We open the weapon crate and we can switch it to the dye thermo fa phase it. Why on earth did I think it was called plastic? Right, I will never get this right on the first go, but I can guess. Is it that one? Oh, let's go, boys. Alrighty, now we've done that. The second upgrade will do because we can do it on the 
background still is the electric die, which is there. Now, we've got to be a bit speedy Gonzalez for this one, but there are three crystals around the map. Oh, hello. And you've got to suck the crystal energy up, then run it all the way back to that canister box we just looked at. And there you go. Shoot at it. And there we go. That's a one of three. The second one is in this hatch somewhere. There we go. All right, there's two. Now we just got to go and get the last one. As long as we get the energy from it whilst we are still in the dark ether. If it chucks us back in the normal world, then we should still be good to beat this step. Oh, and would you look at that? Ample amounts of time. Done it before we even got kicked out. And we can switch it before it even fully kicked us out of there. That is awesome. Let's see. Is it this one? Yes, it is. All right, let's end the round. So now what I need to do is wait for some dogs to spawn so we can get one. Then I need another Megaton because I killed it a bit too early. I forgot it needs to shoot the tree sap. As you can see, my point situation is a little low right now. So I'm hoping we get blessed by another Halloween pumpkin. Oh, I just heard a dog spawn. Hallelujah. Now we've got to do is sit and wait. And oh, look at that. We've got a Megaton as well. Okay, it's a bit messy though. A little messy. All right, easy does it. There we go. Absolutely love the die Electro Bowl. I think it is easily one of the best but let's go ahead and get the dog version the nova 5 there we go swap that out all right here we go we got him come on shoot the tree there we go so now we put a little thing down it's going to start collecting that liquid from it and whilst that's doing its thing let's go ahead and shoot i believe is it is it this one oh we're too cracked guys we are too cracked all right and this thing is done it is done. We've done pretty much all upgrades within like one round of each other on round 12. I do appreciate how easy this map is compared to like a lot of other maps. It's also quite fun. Like, I don't know what you guys would say is your favorite map from Cold War Zombies. I'd probably say Mauer de Toten. I'd probably say the same. The machine is very, very good. All right, but now we are here in the dark ether again we've got to listen to this little story and then get the dark ether wrench all righty and where is the wrench there it is if you guys remember the wrench you got to just use it on the tank so all comments say you don't need to use it on all all areas but we did anyway and look at that little soldier even he's got a halloween helmet on and then is that enough there we go we make the tank shoot and it hits that tree and it drops this little orb which spawns a billion dogs like Maybe I should take these out. Yeah, let me do that first. All right, now I pointed this out last time I played this, but maybe it is because I've got stamina up tier five. But for some reason, when you walk backwards, you walk so much quicker with this thing than if you're walking forwards. I'm fully convinced this works regardless if you have stamina up or not. It's just the fact you are so quick. There we go. Install that thing and it proceeds with the initialization. But it realizes that it needs its subject. And we just got the uh, Megaton on the last round. So it's going to be a little while before we get another one. So let's go through a few rounds and hope we get lucky with some pumpkins. When they put this event on last year, it did really feel like the RNG and how often pumpkins dropped was raised a lot more. Like I've hardly gotten any so far. But you only get scare packages every five rounds. There we go. Get something good. Oh, we've got an Ether tool. This Ether tool, we can't upgrade something that's already a legendary tier. So it's kind of pointless all right we got another one what are we getting artillery and a silver chalice all right we'll take the silver chalice this will upgrade the gun at least we finally got an upgrade oh we got a pumpkin drop during the dog round what are we getting level two armor chatter blast again come on Treyarch. oh it's scare package time come on oh so still waiting for these megatons what are we getting oh i just got a die shot wave for free oh man that's still awesome that you can get given it so you don't have to even get it for free or wh whatever way you wanted to. If you're lucky enough, you can just get it given to you for free. And hey, we've got another jack o' lantern and it's a mimic. All right, there we go. We've got ourselves what we were looking for. They are finally decided to show up. So that's one shot, two shot, and that's it. Now just slowly walk. Keep walking. That's it. No, don't stop. All right, that is one. Oh, God. Oh, my God. This bomber is so close. There you go. All right, now they're both in. Let's start the purification process. This is where we see the Megaton bombers become the lad. And he does not have a pumpkin head on because he's not feeling in the horror mood. And then he goes, he just runs away. And we need to go. We need to go. So much stuff spawns at this point. We just need to leg it, leg it, leg it. Get to that dark Aoife portal right now. Oh, my God. There's just so many dogs, man. So many dogs. All right. All right. And then we just interact with my man here. And uh, next thing you know, it is time for the boss fight. All right, let's open this last scare package. And then we are going. What do we got? Silver chalice, which I cannot pick up. When we go for the next one, hang on a minute. There's another one. What the heck? We got another jack-o'-lantern here. What we got? More chalices? Maybe we got a flamethrower. That's kind of cool. And another jack-o'-lantern. 
Oh, a death machine? I have no idea why we have so many of those scare packages lying around because I swear it was only one every five rounds, but I'm not going to complain. All right, but here we go, ladies and gentlemen. You have all of to protect and complete this map, so let's do it. All right, here we go. So now we've got to protect the boy from everything. I, I hope I made the right decision with this thing. I remember this thing being really overpowered, so I'm just going to shoot anything and everything that goes his way. I will not let you die, all of. So many pumpkin heads falling off, but none that I can actually open. Oh my god, we got real megatons and we got the fake ones as well. All right, first one done. Oh man, this is a little bit hectic, boys. All right, let's pop out the death machine. Protect our boy, because look at all this spawning around him. And no, no, no. We just got him constantly complaining. I need help. Oh, forgot about these as well. As well as the normal megatons. Not a fan of those. All right, but this boss fight is extremely easy. Like. It's very unlikely you'll fail it because you you genuinely can't fail it. Like, unless you die, of course. There's no way to fail it from him taking too much damage, which is uh, always great. Yeah, this thing is kind of cracked. Burn them back. Okay. This thing is... This thing slaps, bro. I love this thing. I love how I've not even used my ring of fire once. All right, and now we're out of ammo in it. Sad, sad times. Hey, we've got Jack-O-Lantern. Am I going to get blessed right at the very end? An E for tool, dude. Flamethrower, though. Oh, we are done, baby. Now we've got to do is just make sure we survive this, which is can be quite nail-biting sometimes, you know? I can't lie. All right, here we go. Oh, boy. The zombies did not mess about. They're already spawning like crazy. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Never gets tired doing this, man. It's always right around here. The zombies are just spawning around. But I am absolutely zooming. Is there something where when you shoot with this thing... Whoa, I did not realize you you zoomed that quick. Right, flamethrower out. Let's get some char-grilled zombies. We got here so quick, the zombies have barely had time to even run around here. That is insane. And Raptor 1 is here. Let's go, baby. Boom, D-Machine complete. Let's move on to Firebase Z. And here we are on Firebase Z. Now, I have not played this map in an absolute hot minute. Look, Ravnov's looking fresh as he always has. Yeah, genuinely, I can't remember the last time I played this map. It's been forever. I'm actually low-key a little bit excited to get into this one. Alrighty, now we're here. We need to kill any zombies in location helipad. I think I can manage that. But I don't know if you guys are the same, but every time I play this map and I need the Ray K, instead of actually doing the Easter egg to get it, I just try and get it from trials because that step with the like dartboard on the screen, it, I just, nah, dude. I just don't get on with it. Please tell me I'm not the only one in the comments. I right, kill zombies with hip fire. I can absolutely do that. Now, it's been round five, so we should have a scare package. But there's our first lantern drop and we're getting Shatter Blast and Armor. Not the greatest first drop. I want an upgrade. If we can get better luck than we did on D-Machine, I'll be happy. All right, we've got our legendary reward. Please be the Ray K. Bro, what the heck is this? Okay, jack o -Lantern, come on. Oh, yo, we got something good there. We've got an Eve for Tools, so now we've got this tier 5. And we've got a Chalice, so let's upgrade this thing. There we go. All right, we go again. Now let's actually get the power on. All right, now we've got the reactors on. Get ourselves Jug. Go back to Ravanov, And also, I've not yet come across the scare package yet. Hmm, where might it be? Anyway, let's do the first step of the Easter egg. Let's speak to Ravanov. We've got the Pack-a-Punch. I'm probably going to buy Death Perception just because I can't see where this thing is. All right, and classic talk to Peck. Look at my man just chilling there in the office like a chad. So now we talk to Peck. We go back to Ravanov, and he's going to give us... The truth serum. Oh, there's this key card. Let's go. All right, there it is. If you guys remember how this step works, I believe, yep, we lose it on there. Grab that. Also, this locker here. Yep. And then finally, in the colonel's office. Yep, there we go. And with all of those, we then go to the chemical mixer and we mix all those together. And we get a load of hellhounds that spawn for no real reason. But let's see if they drop some goodies for us. There we go. The agent delivery system. All right, and then on this little vent, we attach it. And see if my man starts talking, which he does. He's getting a whiff of that good, good right there. I love how he asks, is this a proper dose? And then without 10 seconds, my man's like, actually, oh my God. And this is where Peck absolutely loses it. And he's doing a little jig. Actually, one of the Origins discs that he's dancing to, which I like. All right, and then Peck tells us to head to the data center. And it begins one of the most annoying steps I think we have in Cold War Zombies. There might be a few others, but this is up there as one that gives people a lot of grief. Here we go. Let's unlock. 
let's grab ourselves one of the essence traps. And somewhere around the map, there's going to be a little mimic as an item and we need to trap it. But look at this, guys. Look at this. They're awesome. Like, is that it? Could that be our guy? It could. All right, let's find out. Let's see if we can capture this mimic. Is this right? All right, so we got that. Let's just hope this is the right one. Because these mimics spawn in one of three spots, so you know it's going to be linked. But there was two items there, so I'm not quite convinced, but we'll find out. And whilst the step is annoying, it's also pretty cool because it's actually telling you a backstory of the humans before they became the mimics and were trapped in these items. All right, so that's good. We got that one done. That was correct, boys. Round 10, we should have two scare packages, and I don't even know where one of them is. Right, second one. Is likely to be in here somewhere although i don't see it so maybe not okay let's try it again there we go that is definitely it like look at that that's the one. Oh my god that is so close to killing it right that should be good right second one and that is definitely correct right come on mimic it is your time buddy all right and that should be the last one all right and there we go there's the floppy disk that we need to get the map for back all right so now we put the floppy disk in the quantum mainframe so now we have opened up the opc and we reckon this is it we're gonna get max's back there we thought we opened it but yeah we thought we opened it but clearly not so let's go and talk to peck all right so now we need the ether meter which get given the code to unlock this cabinet and there we go and this is where things get fun with this easter egg because we have the three different sort of like little mini objectives to do the first one we've got here is jungle defense so pop that down there we go we've got this ether container then we've got this little sort of lockdown area oh and here we go the manglers now this is where i need the ray k i'm still shocked i cannot find a single scare package around the map but i know that they exist also what did we just get out of that oh need for tool but we've already got a legendary okay we're just staying here get a stupid amount of dogs that spawn once we survive this we are good to go all right there we go it is done you can collect that ether crystal let's also open this finally something that's not just awful and then let's pop that in there all right here we go avoid taking damage we just really really need to get this reiki I always get really lucky getting it from trials but clearly today is not one of those days here we go we've got two jack-o'-lanterns come on first one's dead wire and level two armor and this gives us silver chalice okay all right that's better than nothing we got a free upgrade rebuild barricades what sort of challenge is that all right my second legendary reward please Bro, what is going on with this game? Right. Oh, man, I completely forgot about salt waves being a thing. Did you guys enjoy these in Firebase here? Let me know. I mean, just look at all these zombies, though, running with the Halloween masks on. I can't help but smile, man. All right, round 15. Still don't have a Reiki. Should have three scare packages somewhere on the map. All right, come on. Third legendary. This has got to be it. Oh, my Lord. It's not. This game officially hates me. It's gotta hate me. Oh my god, okay. I take back everything I said about you. Happy, happy days. The Ray K. What an absolute weapon this thing is. I wanna try and get an upgrade from a pumpkin, but if we can't get it, then I'm not gonna be mad. Okay, now for this one, you need to use the alt of this, then dig, and we should be able to grab it first time. Lovely job. Right, let's pop that in this ether reactor. And then the final challenge, which I always really enjoyed, was that one of them is the real one, and the rest of these a fake gotta find the real one in order to find the real one it's the one that has no black smoke i think is that one yep there we go and then pop that in and we are very close to boss fight now right so let's get to the opc we feel like something is gonna happen does it happen no because there's a power overload now the next step is we need to, need to activate the satellite, the satellite. Once you do, realign that dish to and then we've got to realign this star beyond is it that one there we go look for the question marks boys and look what happens when we move the satellite it always looks amazing and then this whole place is just basically coming apart and we are boss fight ready here we go ladies and gentlemen boss fight time let's interact with the opc start up the cutscene and get to the order look at my character man woods with a clown outfit watching samantha come in and remember when we used to get these in-game cutscenes? man those are the good old days all right here we go ladies and gentlemen i am not wasting any time I'm popping the ring of fire i'm popping my death machine let's see how good is it it's actually not as good as i thought it would be i'm very very surprised hey we've got another jack-o-lantern in the boss fight no time than the present 
Level three armor. I really should have just saved the Ray K for that. Why, uh, why did I even bother with the death machine, man? Why did I even bother? Here, we've got ring back, so I'm ready whenever. I'm just going to throw one of those. Right, here we go. Oh my God, 5,000 damage. Yo, hello, Mimic. Do you mind? Completely cock block that. But it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even need to be doing his attack because we are done. That was insanely easy. And I guess that's the power ring. Let's move on to the next map where hopefully I have some more luck with these scare packages and Jack o' Lanterns. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, on Mawa de Toten, one of my favorite maps in Cold War. I've not played this map in so, so long. So I'm actually really excited to get into this and do the Easter egg on this map. Now, straight away, I love the spawn room of this because it feels a lot more like a traditional spawn room. It's a bit smaller, unlike Firebase Z. So hopefully we'll get lucky with some Halloween drops early doors. Up until now, I've had some disgustingly bad luck with these Halloween pumpkins. So here we go. Round two. What are we getting? Oh, we've got a bronze chalice. So we've already got a pack a punch. That is very good. More where that came from, please. So my aim here is to try and get a Cerberus as quickly as possible. We've got a lantern. What have we got? We've got something good. We've got an ether tool, so that is good. Right, there we go. Tier five now on the shotgun. All right, another one. What have we got on oh, Mimic? Why well, you got to ruin it for, man? Alrighty, but we've got a lot of points. So let's go ahead and start opening up the map. And oh, hello, scare package. Nice of you to finally be here. And what have we got? A hand cannon and level one armor. I mean, it's not great, but we'll take it. Here we go, the classic train station. That trains are coming. And of course, even the zombies that come up that train have got pumpkin heads on. Oh, wait, what the heck? We got another one on the way to the power. Happy days. What we got? Ether tool level one. What is going on with these, man? All right, it's a classic. The power doesn't work. So now we've got to go and get the two fuses from the Tempest. I love that even they have pumpkin heads on. That is pretty cool. And there is our second Tempest. Thank you very much. There we go. There is the power restored. And technically, we don't actually have to turn on the Pack-A-Punch because we've got a Pack-A-Punch gun already. We've defied this logic. We don't need it. But we're going to do it anyway. We're going to do it. Let's see. I'm going to use this hand cannon and see how powerful it is to take out the Disciple with it. Oh my God, that thing is good. All right, let's go ahead and put Brain Rot on there. And oh my God, we've got the microwave dish on our first go. Really? Never had luck that good before. Let's just hope it continues. So now I've already had my brain right activate, but we got it again, boys. There we go. All right, he's definitely going to end the round, but let's grab the hands for Klaus. In the meantime, I can't really do much until we get to round 10 to get the Kranzi sold out. So we have to get the battery from in order to get the three Cerberus and build Klaus. Oh, we got a Jackalad to open. What have we got? Crash again. Let's see. We got another one. Is it going to be as bad? Oh, no. Okay, we've got Shatter Blast and an Aoife Tool. Again, stuff I cannot use. Here we go, round 10. And the Kranzi is here. Easy. And there's the battery. All right, so now we've got both those. Let's install them on Klaus. What an amazing part of this map, guys. Like, who doesn't love Klaus, am I right? Okay, now what I do with Klaus is I run, run, run super, super quick because we want to get enough kills so we can upgrade him. You just got to keep running him around. Okay, but there we go. We should finally have the lad finally here and what i love is they've added a thing that shows how far away he is come on klaus come on buddy he's gonna keep killing until this goes green come on right face the microwave dish but i really hope we see klaus in the next game he is absolutely iconic come on klaus a few more kills we need this screen to go green oh no so close Can now be upgraded let's go dude oh yeah i forgot we're gonna defend him well it's lucky we've got a like a punch shotgun already on round 12. This usually is an absolute nightmare to do, but normally you don't have a tier five pack a punch weapon already, you know? There we go, defended him, and now he's upgraded and doesn't really look that much different, but let's go get ourselves a Cerberus. So we go, our first numbers are 23. Then what we do is we go down in here and look around for it, 39. Then we go over to the grocery store where we have our last one if i can even remember the locations for it there we go it's in this back corner here which is 39 i just got 39 twice that's kind of mad is that right well if it's if that's what it wants then that's what it wants you know so we got to have 23 and 39 and 39 Yo, let's go, boys. Now, straight up, lads. To me, this is probably the best wonder weapon in Cold War. You might agree, you might disagree. I don't know, but I really love this weapon. All right, I'm actually going to buy Death Perception. Just because I want to be able to see where these scare packages are. But the next step, if you guys remember, is I just got to kill zombies with this thing until we get the Blazer mod kit. 
to drop from one of the zombies. And yo, there it is. Right on time. Now we need to get good old Klausy to smash through this wall. Man can sense that there's energy nearby. Let me just get rid of all the zombies for you. That way you can't be distracted. Boom, there he goes. And then he won't block the way that is. All right, here we go. And boom, there we go. Here's where we get to meet Valentina for the first time. I love how even the term... Are they, what, are they Tormentors? Terminators? All right, well, now we progress the round. Could break the shields and all of this. All right, yep, there we go. Here we've got the essence canisters. We've got to pick these, all three of them up. Now we've got that, we've got to shoot this machine. So it gives us an end station lure. Can we, why wouldn't it let us pick it up? Oh, it's because we've got Klaus. All right, there we go. Now we can pick up the end station lure. Remember with this, we place the empty canister down here. We then throw down the lure and then we just kill the Tempest. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's probably the first time I've gone down in this entire video. I think it's because I need quick revive. Jeez Louise, it's been quite hectic. But now we've done that, we then pick up this Harvester. Remember, it just spawns so many, like, baddies on you. And then we just go down here. Drop that, there we go. Okay, so that's one done. Now we need to pick up another lure and go to another canister. We've got this one here in the alley, so let's do that. Throw it down. Spawn those dudes in. And there we go. Carry the charged harvester. And it just spawns a load of baddies. Remember when there was a glitch where you could just use this and just get infinite of the field upgrade? Oh, it was so broken. I wonder if you could farm a load of pumpkin heads because there's just so many bosses while you're doing this step. All right, but there we go. Second one down. Grab that last one. All right, we've got the last one here in this destroyed penthouse. But I can't find it scare package anywhere it's starting to freak me out a little bit there we go there is the third and final one done hey let's go a pumpkin what are we getting level three armor hell yeah all right and now we get to see klaus stop a train but i gotta remember we need to switch the tracks there we go let's call our boy in and let's get him on the train track he's definitely gonna kill this zombie I just have a feeling it's going to happen. Okay, no, I think it's on this side of the train platform, actually. So let's get him over there. Yep, and here we go. Train coming in. What an absolute legend. Right, all aboard. Don't mind me. There's Rico's key card. And that was like the quickest I think I've ever done that step. And let's shoot this as well to get the electronic boards because we need to upgrade Klaus for this next step. Well, get some headgear for him. Now for the second, we need to go back to spawn. We need to shoot this. And boom, we get the antenna. And then lastly, in the electronic store, there's a radio we've got to shoot. There we go. Let's not die here. But there we go. There we go. All three parts. All right, so now we need to go... Oh, we didn't pick up the warhead? This is when you know I've not played this in a hot minute. I didn't even remember to pick up the warhead from the train. I'm such an idiot, man. Okay, scare package. Come on. Give me the goods. Oh, Lord, it gave it actually gave a Cerberus. That's kind of mad. There we go. This time, I will not forget to pick up the warhead. There we go. Right, insert the warhead. There we go. Okay, so we get a hint about using the disruptor satellite. So let's go back. And now we have Klaus's hacking mechanics. We can hack into this system. So insert the key card, browse files, keep going. There we go. This is the part of this Easter egg that I kind of get a little worried about, but we should be fine. Oh my god, I, I don't remember all them sort of things spawning. You guys remember how chaotic this step is? So we've got this uranium rock. We lose health when we pick it up. We need to go to a workbench. So here, craft, craft, craft. Right, pick it up. All right, all right, all right. So now we've got to go onto one of these roofs. Oh, I hate this step. Only because it's been a long time since I've done it. I just want to make sure I don't mess anything up. All right. And then what we do is we place it. All right. We good. Okay. So what I forgot about this Easter egg is that we got one rock there. And now we got a second one. I forgot that it dropped two right at once. So now we've got to go ahead and make this, craft this without getting hit too much by zombies. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. We got it. All right. Then repel up here. Attach it to... I can get up. Here we go. This one. There we go, and boom. Right, and there we go. We've got this cleansed rock. Now let's go and put this back in the secret place. Right, run, 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 run. Right, place it down there. Then we've got to repeat that step one more time, if you remember. All right, let's activate this satellite a second time. We've got to do this step all over again. And I bet it's going to be on that roof. Is it this roof? Oh, yeah, it is. See, my memory's too good, chat. Too good. But look at what they did to our poor spawn, man. 
full spawn. Right, we just going ham. Oh lord, oh lord. All right, there we go. So let's pick up the rock. Right, craft, craft, craft. I had to use my LT. I thought this is a just better time as ever than to use it. There's a panzer somewhere. All right, there we go. Attached it on there. Go back and get the other rock. There we go. All right, build, 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 build. Hey, we zoom in, boys. We zoom in. I don't even know what the Kranzi Soldat's doing. He's just chilling, watching it all happen. All right, then back to this zip line. Activate that. Boom. And then here we go. Second cleanse rock. Once we do this, we're ready for boss fight. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. I could buy a few more perks, but I can't upgrade anymore. So here we go. Oh, I should have upgraded the ray gun. Oh, bro, I can do it during this. Let's see. Not done this in like over a year. How am I going to be against this? Probably all right. I wish I had my ring of fire, but it's fine. Probably one of my second favorite boss fights after the outbreak first Easter egg. Look at her just sitting in a dark ether sort of throne. Yeah, without this ring of fire. God damn. All right, here we go. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, Valentina. Come on. You don't want the smoke. Clearly, you don't want this smoke. Ring of Fire lasts a hell of a lot longer than I remember it. Oh, my God. All right, let's take out some of these. All right, we are so close. Oh, God, she's healing. Not on my watch. All right, is the War Machine good against her? Oh, my God, it's really not. All right, well, we've done the first phase. Happy days. I was a bit worried that we weren't going to be able to make that. Oh, God, why is she so close, man? Oh, I hate her when she's on this tank bit. I'm gonna have to wait to pack a punch a little bit longer. Look at her just chilling there. All right, I'm calling in Klaus. Honestly, I forgot the second rock starts the boss fight straight away, so I was a little unprepared, boys. I can't lie. All right, we got the ring. We got the ring. We've got the ring. Let's go. All right, we go and we go and we go and. Woo! All right, we got a pumpkin in the, in a boss fight. What have we got? Ether tool, artillery. Nah, it's not very good. Oh my god, a, a Kranzi just came out of her body bro all right she's healing i don't think so all right come on valentina this is getting silly now when it used to be a cakewalk for me but not anymore oh all right she must be at half health now surely all right ether tool bruise missile open this no all right let's go and buy some perks i reckon or do i just upgrade the ray gun ah let's upgrade the ray gun i reckon that will help me out i need another scare package phase three Oh, God. Hide behind something. All right. I always remember this bit being really, really good. Please, do you mind? All right. How good is the ray gun against her here? Doesn't... I mean, it seems to be okay. I definitely need PhD, man. Oh, yo. The ray gun is really good. And trip, if this was triple pack, this would be such a different story. But, man, and this is... Maybe I'm just making it tougher on myself. Ooh. 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 Gold chalice. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. Let's go, dude. What a clutch thing getting triple pap right during the boss fight. All right, come on. Look how much quicker it just breaks her shield. All right, there we go. Finally, we got her. Hey, okay, can I seek past her to get some perks? Just about. <laughs> all right, we got all perked up, which is awesome. But funny enough, you can't run away from her, even if you tried. Like, oh, God. I remember the panzer spawn. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, there we go. But yeah, if you run away from the area, she teleports you back in. But bro, look how good. Look how good it is. Oh my god. You get this thing to tier 3 pap and it is game over for her. Right, you're going to see how quickly she's going to get wrecked in this final moment here. Oh god. Oh, this is a... Oh, hide, 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 hide. Right, I need my ring of fire. If we wanted to end this quick. Meantime, we'll just keep shooting her. Yep, come on, John. We're so close. Yeah, let's try and get this ring of fire because it would just end things very quickly for us. All right, here we go. Ring of fire. This is it for you, Valentina. Boom, baby. Let's go. While she's dying, while she's just lying there, let's open a jack o' lantern. Get a flamethrower. Right, can we barbecue her? <laughs> See you later, Valentina. <laughs> Love how Woods is like, I've had enough of Valentina. This is the sad moment, and I swear we will see Klaus again. All right, here my man goes. Right, flamethrower. Get some barbecued zombies. See how good it actually is against them. Poetic, really. And there's a jack o' lantern for us to open whilst this is happening. Imagine dying at this very moment. I would be so sad. But here we go, lads. Let's open one last jack o' lantern. Oh my god. Chopper gunner and ray gun. That's for Klaus, that is. That's for Klaus. And there we go. Mauer the Toten done. Let's move on to the final map 
Forsaken. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. The finale of Cold War Zombies Forsaken. I have not played this map in literally about a year since it first came out. So I'm really excited to get the Easter egg done here. And this is one of my favorite spawn rooms as well. Because it's exactly like No Man's Land from Moon. It just keeps on going. And hopefully we can get some really good drops early on from this. I'm tempted to put on the uh, Rampage Inducer, but I'm a bit scared that it's just going to be a bit too hectic in here. So let's just keep it calm. Let's cross our fingers that the RNG gods are going to give us something good. At the very least, I reckon we can get an Aether tool to get our gun to uh, legendary straight away. But since we are like going through the rounds so quick here, technically we should have a lot of scare packages waiting for us when we get into the main map. There we go. It's taken until round six to get our first pumpkin drop. That's nuts. Right, let's take a look. Let's see what it is. What? Just kill streaks. We've got artillery and we also got napalm burst. All right. I want to get one more and then that is it. I really thought our luck would be a lot better this time around, but it really isn't. All right. Second jack o' lantern. What are we getting? Level two armor and a bronze chalice. All right. Not terrible. I want some wonder weapons, man. All right. Round 10. I think we have outstayed our welcome. So let's get the heck out of here. Okay, we've got not one, but two while we're waiting for the teleporter. Okay, level two armor. Another bronze chalice. Oh my God, we got even more. More chalices. Right, and one more still. We're getting so unlucky. But anyway, let's actually go forth now. 32,000 points before we've even left spawn. This is why I love this map. All right, let's grab ourselves stamina. All right, let's go through here. Oh yeah, and we've got to build all the parts. I've forgotten all about this map. There we go. So we need the focusing lens. And there's also a part in here. All right, now was there one inside the arcade? Yep. Then the last one is in here. And oh, we yeah, got those cheeseburgers. It's so random. You need all those parts in order to fix this teleporter, including like deep fat fryer cage. Like a little odd, but here we go. Moving on through into here. And I remember now, this is where we get the abomination for the first time. And here it is. Essentially a Magua. It's the unofficial official Magua. Now we get to the observation tower. And then let's lift the lock down by pressing that button. And then there's a button we press, right? Is it this one? Yep. There we go. And then we get the iconic first cutscene of Zykov. Like we've barely started the map. We've already got storyline cutscenes going on. All right. So now we've done that. We actually start the Easter egg. But now we need to get the chrysalac. So get to the town square. I'm trying to remember. It's because we got that meteor that falls in, right? Before we even get the first steps of the chrysalax, I am actually going to try and uh, find a scare package because we have yet to find one. Like some maps are just like better than others for scare packages because there is none around here. So I forget there is this, which does a little lockdown. Maybe I wasn't quite ready for it. I'm not quite sure, but I know we need to do it anyway. And I think for this, we just need to like stay in here and kill. I used to speed run this map because it was so easy and so quick. Obviously, it's been a little while, so I'm just trying to remember how everything works. All right, there we go. It's done. Hey, we get this massive fuel tank. Oh, what have we got in here? Oh, an E for tool. Lovely. Opening this one. We got a silver chalice. Now we got back a punch tier two. And then we got another one here. What are we getting? Mm, not quite so good. The first part of getting the crystal axes, this thing just drops down. And we got to get souls. Classic zombies, eh? All right, now that's done. We can pick that up. And we got another pumpkin to open. Oh, and it's just a mimic. All right, so part two, we need to get an abomination to spawn in. But again, second part, we need to get a tormentor to spawn. We need to kill it with a flamethrower. Oh, speaking of the devil, here it is. There we go. Did it drop it? Oh, it did. There we go. Oh, oh scare package. You are hiding, my friend. You are hiding. What have we got? Ether tool. War machine, armor. Scare packages really have not been delivering. But hey, we got another one. Come on. Give us. The f give it. Oh, it did. Oh, let's go, dude. We don't even need to do the Easter egg to get it because we've already got it. Right, I'm pack a punching this straight away. There's really nothing better in life than being given a wonder weapon for absolutely free. Just a feels good moment, man. Right, let's pack a punch it twice. And now, where we have these crystals around the map, there are three of them. We've got to shoot these orbs, which I... Oh, my God, dude. Right, so you shoot them with the crystal axe. There we go. And then you just smash this. And then we pick up one of these crystal shards. And we throw it in the abomination's mouth. And then, boom. There we go. It seems like such a weird mechanic, but it works. So there we go. Eat that, Mr. Abomination. Right, and then, I am. Let's see you later, buddy. So there's our second crystal. Also, we've got some pumpkins. Ooh, level three armor. I'll take that. And we got another one with more level three now we've got this third and final crystal around here so spam shoot away all right let's smash this get that there he is hello all right and then slice you 
And there we go. That's all three. Okay, so now I need to get dead wire on a weapon, apparently. So let's get dead wire on my shotgun. All right, so now we need to electrocute a zombie by this arcade machine, which powers it on. And then for 2,000 points, we get an RCXD. But it's a little, little hectic. I don't want the zombies destroying this thing. So hang on a minute. All right, so here we go. We deploy it and then we go for a little drive and it's already dead. Are you kidding me? All right, second time's the charm. So we drive the RCXD right around. Go inside here, detonate that. Go through here, jump up, boom. And that should have done it. You're choking me. I, I'm very confident it's right here. Let's do that again. There we go. We got it that time and we got the monitoring device. Now we're on like literally the second to last step. So we've got to come into here. I need an abomination to spawn, which it can happen like as soon as you come in here. But since I already came in this room earlier, it might not spawn. So I have to wait. Let's get some more perks though. You guys remember this thing that's just trapped here in the corner. We need abomination to knock it down. Three rounds later. Finally, we have the abomination that we were looking for. Come on, come to Papa. There we go. Oh my God. Ay, ay, ay. That was messy as hell. Did he even knock it down? No, he didn't. Oh, yo, look what we just got. Gold chalice. Come on. Come on, bro. We're in a round transition now. This is your time. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Right. We are boss fight ready. So let's build this thing. I don't want to die, though. I think it's just meant to be the fact that we got gold chalice right at the boss fight. It was just meant to be, wasn't it, boys? It was just meant to be. And here we go. So if you guys remember how this setup works, you have to escort this thing. I mean, to keep running out of this bubble to get the crystal. I don't have a crazy amount of ammo for this, so we'll see how this goes. There we go. Got that. Give it back to it. All right, grab that again. It's just like remembering how frequently you need to run out and grab it. All right, so the first one, we've got to go up here grab this it's just remembering all this stuff because my brain remembers it but also doesn't remember it all at the same time and i'm out of ammo already yikes we've got another one here so grab that oh let's go i've right, got another one just out on the map here we've got another down here it's got to go up right at the end here and there we go that should be all oh 34k what on earth do we spend this on there's not any other perks that i need i guess we could upgrade this get some more semtexes like we are good to go i haven't done this in a hot minute but i think i remember how quick we can we can do this if you ring a fire and then we oh god pop the ring of fire so we can break his shoulders there we go very very quick then we have maxis here that we need to get a load of zombie souls in all right now she's got that max energy so let's use the cannon then it's on one of his shoulders yep I've even forgotten the order in which you shoot the Forsaken. I know it's shoulder, shoulder, and it might be like chest and then eyes. All right, we've got another Maxis circle. Even pumpkins inside of the boss fight. Two to four. Oh my God, a gold chalice. Didn't even need to spend my money. All right, cannon again. So next shoulder, there we go. This has to be one of the shortest eggs in all of Cold War. I never remember this Easter egg taking long, but this has been so quick. And there the Forsaken tries to scare us by showing us what the future will look like, which is rough, man. Oh, off Maxis. Here we go. Right. And now it's his chest, I think. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. Chill out. All right. We apparently already done all the damage to his chest already. So now just think court effects came before this dude. And court effects was a lot more menacing, at least to me. I just don't get how they messed up the storytelling of Vanguard so hard. All right. We are ready. Shoot his chest. There we go. Full power. All right. And now, oh my God, why has he got a laser at that exact same time that I popped my ring? All right. And boom, there we go. Shield's broken. Maxis is ready to go. There we go. Final time. Straight in his brain. See you later, Zykov. Boom, baby. There we go. Forsaken Easter egg done. Let's open our last lantern. And what are we getting? A gold chalice. Oh, and here's where we die. Yeah, here's where it, it feels like we're going to die. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Every single Cold War Easter egg Halloween edition.